Hey guys, I'm Tech from TechJaven and today we're going to be installing the Honeywell Smart Call Thermostat. This is the RTH9585WF, which is a smart and Wi-Fi capable uh, thermostat. Uh, we're going to be replacing the old uh, Honeywell, and I believe this one is two wire because it's an uh, old wiring and uh, it doesn't have a C wire, which this one requires. But um, I haven't checked yet, uh, but we'll check in a second. But the reason I am, I'm assuming that because I'm installing it in my warehouse when I have this giant heater here. And um, I'm only seeing two wires. It's nice when, when you have a phone camera, you can actually zoom in. And you know, you see there's a transformer in that box for 24 volts. And I see only two wires running. So I'm assuming there's going to be two wires, but we'll check in the thermostat as well. Let me just make sure the thermostat is off. And with those, we just pull that off. Oh, look at that. It's actually a newer one. This is the Mercury Free version. Funny, well, this is actually probably the most popular one. Uh, and as you can see, uh, I only got two wires, which is red and white. Let me just put it back on for now. So before you get into it, like if once you know that this is a two wire, because um, you know if it's older um, heater, just it's only gonna be two wire. And if you don't want to mess with the additional steps we're gonna be following with the transformer, uh, you know you get one with the batteries and you're all set. Uh, it will work as long as it's um, battery. But the, when the, any thermostat requires C wire, is because it needs external power. So. Before we begin, uh, just, you just want to make sure that uh, you're replacing the correct thermostat. So in my case, I'm pretty sure this is 24 volt because of the design of the thermostat. And uh, you are not replacing that kind of thermostat. Uh, this is a baseboard heater thermostat, and you can usually tell by the way it's built. Uh, but uh, of course, the baseboard thermo uh, baseboard heaters use uh, actually 110 or 220 volts. And so you don't want to uh, touch it because the, those thermostats are for low voltage. In this case, 24 volt AC. Well, this is 110 or 220, depends on the you know, um, baseball heater. Okay, so before we begin, there's a few things you're gonna need. So of course, you're gonna need your new thermostat. And because I have two wires and I don't have a C wire, uh, even though I could probably grab it off the heater, but it's really high. I'm not gonna jump on the ladder. Uh, I got this 24 uh, VAC AC transformer that's gonna power the thermostat. Uh, of course, if you need any of this stuff, I'm gonna have a link in the description for you. Uh, everything I buy usually from Amazon just because it's cheaper and I can get it in fast. But if you don't, you know, it's fine. Uh, anything you use, uh, buy to Amazon, uh, with my uh, link, you know, I get a small commission from Amazon and it helps me support the channel. So I really appreciate it. If you are going to buy from Amazon, uh, if you can use my link. Uh, another things you're going to need is uh, either, you know, screwdriver, flat and uh, Phillips. In my case, I'm going to use the Universal Husky. Uh, you may need uh, pliers or clippers, maybe a knife. But you definitely need a 24 volt AC transformer if you have only two wires and you don't have the C wire. And of course, the smart thermostat, which is Wi Fi. Uh, an additional cool thing is the uh, touchless uh, voltmeter because we need to make sure that uh, when we're working on it, that our power is off. You know, it's 24 volt AC, but you know, it can still kill you. So we want to make sure that we are working safe. So let's open the box and prep the thermostat first because uh, we're using uh, external power here. So we should connect it first. All right, so in the box, we're gonna find the thermostat right here. That aside for now, we don't need it at the moment. We want to get to the wiring things. So this is the mounting plate. And we're gonna need the mounting screws. Oh, this is I guess for pinching the wires. So 
This one, you don't need a screwdriver, you just pinch the wire in. And see why connection. So, of course, it depends on your house and how you're connecting it. Uh, it kind of tells you how to connect stuff and uh, and also if uh, you don't have, I don't see if it has instructions how to connect it. If you don't have a C wire, which it doesn't. So they have adapters for it, but I think that's for adapter if you want to connect, to grab the power from a transformer because you don't have a, a, a C contact on the board, on a furnace. So let me just unwind this cable so it's nice and long. We can tie it up later. Uh, the reason for that, we don't want to pull it out with a transformer. Of course, I'm going to make a mess before we even begin. I'm going to fix that later. Aye, aye. It's my fault. There's, there's actually a way to unwind this properly. I just, I was just quick. All right, let's put that back. We have a nice slag. In my case, uh, my power outlet is right next to the uh, old thermostat, so I don't have to. I don't need a long wire, but uh, the thermostat you get usually the 24 volt AC power transformers you get do have quite a long cables, just in case you don't have, your power is way off. It's, I don't know; it might be hard to see, but all terminals are labeled C K R C R. So there's one thing. Uh, you may want to check it. See that jumper? I'm not 100% sure, but I think we want to disconnect it, the jumper. Uh, because uh, usually when you do the R and RC, they would jump. And because we're connecting our external power, uh, we don't want to jump it. So what we're going to be doing is connecting, uh, let's see, R for our red wire. And W, which is right here. What I'm putting right now, I apologize. I just have trouble seeing it through uh, through the camera lens. So, and for our power from our transformer, we're going to connect the C, this one here, and this one RC for our transformer power. So, let's get the terminals here. That's why you may need the snippers because the terminals, if I can find them, uh, a little long and we don't need them to be that long we just need them to snap in here so as you can see we can uh, trim them off a little bit because they're way too long we don't we don't want them to be that long oops my apologies so we're gonna snip probably like halfway Uh, when it comes to the RC and C, uh, we do not need to worry about which one goes where because uh, it's AC, so either, either cable is fine. So let's connect to RC. So we actually do I need to punch in. So I think this is... Uh, oops. This is really difficult to do because I'm trying to show you guys at the same time and uh, come on this cable does not want to snap in uh, my apologies I just want to make sure that I get this right so I was thinking about uh, putting some lead so it's, those cables are stiffer because when you have solid cables you should be okay but otherwise you know uh, it's, it's a little hard to push them in because those are the self-locking pins so the trick here is sorry misplaced that uh, you know putting the cable through the bracket make sure you do that so let's do rc first and while we're pushing it in we're gonna push on that knob right there that will help us push the cable in and secure it hopefully you see it so I'm gonna push on that little tap for the second wire and push the push the cable in. This will help get the cable in first. That'd be probably easier if it was on the wall. Alright, so we have the our AC transformer connected to 
RC and C. Okay, now we can uh, go work on the old thermostat. All right, so before we begin on this one, you know, uh, right now if I turn it on to heat, as you can hear, my thermostat turns on and the and the heater turns on. So let's turn it on first. And I have a switch right there, but it's really high. And since I have the breaker box right next to me, I'm gonna flip the breaker. So I have the breaker right here, have it off. Now I'm gonna pull the thermostat out without, hopefully without the cover. And put it inside. Before I touch anything, I'm gonna, I have, I'm gonna test my tester and just to make sure there's no voltage. This tester actually will detect 24 volt AC. So let me show you guys that it does work. Let me flip the breaker again. All right, the breaker is on. See nothing on the white. Just fire fight again. No power. Okay, good. So let me unscrew this. And ideally, you want to take a picture chair when you are uh, uh, with the cables, so you know where they are, just in case yours are not labeled or the different colors. You never know. Uh, usually, people try to do a standard, but that's not always the case in some places. Depends if you're working, especially when you're working on old stuff, old wiring. I'm gonna save this thermostat because it's you know, you never know, it may come handy one day. All right, so as you can see, it's like a old wiring system. Luckily, I have lots of cable to play with, so let's see, there's no other cables here other than those two, and I have a tiny uh, flat head that I need. I got my tiny screwdriver here, so let me remove the, and this one's white, red to red, W for the white. So let's take those out. All right, so let's put this away, save it for future use. It actually has a plate here. Uh, I wonder if we should even bother removing that. So I think we can reuse the screws probably. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. So we're gonna leave the plate, why not? It doesn't hurt us, you know, this is not for uh, decoration or anything else. So I'm gonna leave the existing plate here for future if we need to put it back. But uh, so we wanna run the cables through the hole here. This is a little challenging, so bear with me. All right, so red, we're gonna go to are red here so because those cables actually are solid it's gonna be a lot easier for me to push them inside just let me make sure it gets straight enough all right the cables in locked the little tab there to make sh to get the cable in easier because it's a little hard <sighs> those sold wires this should be easier but it's not come on go in I don't know why he doesn't want to go in All right, it's in, okay. All right, so this is it. Just uh, make sure, double check that your wiring is correct. So we got our AC, you know, our, I actually made a diagram just a bit safer. So this is what we want. Hopefully you can see it here. We got the heater here, we got our two wires, so that we're our two wires from the heater are gonna go to uh, R and W on the thermostat, and our transformer the wall—that's this one that we're talking about. 
uh, it's going to connect to RC and C and just make sure you remove a jumper a lot of times there will be a jumper on it uh, I'm not 100% sure if that will impact it or not uh, but most of the time and uh, it could we don't want to sort of duplicate the AC because we don't want the AC to jump from here to here uh, ideally so you do want to remove the jumper there don't forget that jumper very important otherwise you'll burn, you may burn something so this should be it and let's screw this back in the two screws all right sorry guys i had to move the camera because it was in the way and this is a fireproof uh, resistant drywall and it's unlike a regular drywall it's actually quite hard so you want to once you have this screw in you can adjust it so we're gonna do this one screw it in so we do not want the plate to move so but we do want to adjust it so it's level in my case because this is for a warehouse it doesn't have to be pretty it just has to be functional uh, so we got a little play here still all right now we can uh, plug in the thermostat if this is how it goes it should just snap in all right so moment of truth we have our ac still unplugged okay we're gonna flip the breaker all right so far nothing with no power and let me just make sure i get this right all right i plugged it into the wall as you can see right there it's, it's nice because I got power right there but I mean that's why I got the long cable in case you know uh, thing is far away and now that it's turned on we just gotta load it and make sure it we can turn on the heat so let me run through the setup and we're gonna check it out all right so right now this is uh, my indoor temperature that that thermostat is reading this is what I have to set uh, so if I want to turn the heater on right now I need to go like 71 let's give a few seconds and then we should hear it if it uh, turns on yep and there it goes so there's like about four or five seconds of delay and it's it's running the gas I can hear the gas but let's double check that uh it can be turned off so let me actually wait for the fan to kick in so the fan did kick in so it's kind of nice that you can actually control multiple settings and of course I'm not gonna go through the menu as much uh, you would have to figure out yourself most of the stuff you know how to set up do the time if you want and all that kind of stuff you can also register on your phone so you can control from your uh, cell phone but uh, right now we're waiting a few seconds uh, for the heater to turn off as soon as the fan turns off that means we are good to go so let me just change the temperature uh, so we're gonna help till yeah, 2 p.m. Let's go to 50. And while we wait for the fan to turn on, let's just uh, do that follow up uh, automatic mode, modes, heat. And so edit schedule. Uh, we want to change that. But uh, so let me do that right now. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you click like, subscribe. Um, also, if you're using uh, Amazon to buy this, the thermostat or the or the uh, transformer or the uh, uh, the pen to check the electricity, I will have the link in the description. It helps me a lot if you use the link. If not, you know it's it's fine. Uh, but it you know it takes a lot of time to make those videos and edit and post and all the stuff so hopefully uh, you guys can support this channel also make sure before you are uh, connected make sure that you remove the rc jumper 
Uh, that's very important, I believe. Uh, I think you will burn something if you uh, don't remove the jumper. So, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment below. And I'll, if I can, I will answer or the community will answer for you. Thank you so much.